by the way, my pickle plum is a small, tiny pieces one. So if you're using regular, like a bigger pickle plum, then you can only use two or three for this. I'm going to use four for this time. To give the richness to the pasta sauce, I'm going to use this Greek yogurt. But originally, again, my mom used mayo, like Cuban mayo, Japanese Cuban mayo. So if you prefer that way, then you can use that one too. What's your name? Today I have these dark leafy greens and shiso basil but again you can use any type of green vegetable like spinach would be a great or any other basil would be nice so today I'm going to use this soba noodle which is made with buckwheat flour because I just like the texture of it but my mom actually uses a just a regular spaghetti pasta so use what you have you don't have to buy anything new for this recipe Set the timer for four minutes. So whenever I make a soba noodle, I save some of the the how do you say that? It's the the liquid that cooked the noodle because I like to drink this whatever liquid that it's called. <laughs> Before you add the noodle in, just make sure to drain some of the liquid because it's gonna dilute the sauce. This is part of my meal prep. I made this pickle plum mushroom. So I'm going to add this into the noodle, but this is totally optional. So once everything is tossed together, you wanna do the taste test before you serving onto the plate. If it's too to blend, you can add soy sauce or pickle plum. And if it's too salty, then you can add more vegetable. Ta -da! <laughs> if I have something red like cherry tomato i would cut up and then garnish some but today i only have a green so it's gonna be still very delicious i always remember the recipe in certain situations just like today on the day of my university entrance exam my mom made katsu sandwich the word katsu in japanese means to win or to be victorious my mom made a katsu sandwich for me on the day of my university entrance exam as a way to symbolize overcoming the challenges of the exam. <laughs> this is my routine. Before I dig in, I always take a photo for my website or 
Instagram. So there's a recipe on my website, so link is in the description box if you wanna make one for yourself. When I ask kids what's your favorite on my cooking, and they always go, I don't know. <laughs> but I hope that someday my kids will cook dishes with memories attached, just like I do today. It's very delicious, but it's nostalgic as well. So I finished the lunch, so see you in uh, snack time. So it is 3 p.m. and I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm going to make a matcha cake in a mug. And this can be whipped up in 10 seconds from start to finish. So if you feel hungry and if you need a little something to eat, but it's easy, I hope you're gonna enjoy this. You can use any type of mug, but I prefer bigger mug compared to my hands <laughs> this big. And what we do is just basically put everything into the cup and mix it. Starting with sugar, but it could be honey, any anything that you prefer. About one tablespoon. Baking is not my strong suit, so I only attempt simple and foolproof baking recipes to avoid any mishaps. If the mug is too small, it's very hard to mix once you add the rice flour, so this is why I prefer the bigger one. So while my mug is in the microwave, I want to share my life update. I just realized I was doing a lot of recipe videos recently, but I haven't really shared my life. So it's a great time to catch up. So on February, we did, I went to Boston and we did a meetup. It was really nice. A lot of members are from the Ikigai Cooking Club, which is a membership. So they already know each other. They communicate before, even before the, mem uh, the meetup. So they become friends very like, in seconds it was really nice and that experience makes me feel like I want to interact more in person so I decided to do online live cooking session every month the details in the community post or on the Instagram so if you are interested in please check that out and thank you for those who join the, the, the Boston meetup and the second one is like it's a huge for me but my younger son is graduating kindergarten so there would be any no no kindergarten kids anymore in my family it's like it's a lot to me because i spent five years in the same kindergarten so i knew the teacher mom friends and of course the kids so i feel like i have a community there <laughs> And in Japan, it's probably not different. It's different from your country. But once kids get into the elementary school, they walk to the school by themselves. So I don't have to take him to the school anymore. <laughs> A lot more independent, right? So I probably gonna miss them so much. <laughs> okay, so the third thing is that my tableware project is going on really nicely. I've been researching a lot for you 
and my so when it comes to the to the theme of my tableware I just want you to enjoy more Japanese cooking at home so that's the tableware it should be so it have to be very practical and at the same time it's very beautiful those type of things that I'm gathering up now so it's a microwave safe and dishwasher safe it's that what you want <laughs> if you are using every day and those microwave safe and the dishwasher safe is important for you i just want to make sure that i'm on the the same page with you so let me know in the comment section okay i think my mug is done my cake is done so bye bye In Japanese. I don't know really know how to say that in English. Let me know in the comment section. It's super bouncy. If you can see this, oh, it's atsy, atsy. Fua, fua this. <laughs> I think I put on the microwave too long so it become it's quite hard it's supposed to be a little more fluffy inside it's a lot more soft I only put the one tablespoon so if you want to add a little more sweetener Maybe you can add after you cook it in a way everyone can adjust the sweetness. Ha, oishi. Na kanji. Chotto katakku natta. Whipped cream or ice cream would be very nice to go with it. This is the end of the video and if you're looking for more easy healthy recipe ideas, you probably enjoy this video next. So make sure to check that out. And I'm really looking for seeing your comment on our tableware project. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Matane.